So, Sony forces censorship on Stellar Blade. Take a look at the picture. Take a look at the picture here, okay? So, from what I understand, what the story is here is that what you see on the left is the wall before the censorship. Our shop was also there too. So what you get there is hard R shop. So from what I understand, some people out there think that this is racist or thought it was racist or thought it was an intentional racist graffiti. What I'm telling you is that I don't know. After the people complained, they put crime R shop. But what I was thinking is, well, it could have also meant like, <laughs> it, what's funny is if I was playing a game, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. But what I was thinking is, is it a recreational drug shop? Like, is it a shop where you can buy drugs? Like, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, hard R shop. So are you saying it's a shop? Is that what you're saying? Don't want to even say the word. Don't even want to say the word that other people use in place of the word. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this could be a nothing burger or it could be She's in a real crazy part of town and people do do stuff like this. You know, they will write something next to another word on a sign to make it look like it says something and something, you know, that, that it shouldn't say, you know, for those of you that are unfamiliar uh, over here, when rappers are saying that word that begins with an N. People will say in conversation, hey, yo, yo, the white dude busted in here and he was saying, he was saying, he wasn't saying it with an A. He was going off on everybody and it was all hard R's. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I mean, this is, um, I mean, I don't know if South Korea is a, racist country i mean i've heard that certain other asian countries are but uh i i don't know i haven't done any research on south korea so i don't know how they feel about us you know uh it's one of those things where remember when i told you guys about that um that talent show where the one celebrity from America was there. He was one of the judges. And one, and one of the acts was they came out dressed up as the Jackson 5. And apparently they win the competition every year. But because of him, they didn't win that year. Because he said they'd be lucky to get off the stage if they were in America. Now, they were all painted black. But like really black. Like, like this. You know, wearing Afro wigs. And... Their reply afterwards, because it kind of was a thing, it was a story over there in Australia. And they were like, oh, like, you don't understand. Like, this isn't blackface. This is just a comedic representation of the ja Jackson 5. Basically, I'm paraphrasing, basically. And they were saying, we don't have the history of slavery and Jim Crow like you do in America. So it's like, we kind of get why you thought it was this, but this isn't how we look at it. And that's not what it was. So is that what this is? Or was it truly intentionally racist? If it was truly intentionally racist, yes, it should have been removed. If not, then it should have been left in, but whatever. Um. I wouldn't even notice it. I would have been running around, slicing and dicing and everything, but huh, tell me what you all think. Post comments down below. Let me know if you got any more details. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share.